Last week on um, Friday and Saturday, uh, which would have been June uh, 7 and 8, in Rome, in the Vatican, there was the annual meeting of the Fundazione Centissimus Annus Pro Pontifice, and I'm on the advisory body of this, this foundation. Uh, the foundation was set up by Pope, now Saint John Paul II, as a lay foundation reporting to, to the Pope himself uh, to promote Catholic social teachings in business and finance and the economy. And the found this was, I think, the 26th annual meeting. And the topic for discussion and consideration by speakers and panelists was the Pope's encyclical of four years ago with the Latin name of Laudato Si. And as I understand it, and Latin is not my first language, uh, this is the, these are the first words of a very famous poem by St. Saint, uh, Saint Francis uh, of Assisi, where he, he speaks of awe and reverence for the natural created universe in which we live. I think it's Father, Son, and, and Sister Earth, and things like this, and it's, it's a spirit of religiosity, and awe, and care, and dependency, and, and really takes creation and, and makes us part of its family, or it takes creation and makes it part of our family. So four years ago, the Pope wrote this long encyclical uh, talking about what is the, the moral law, if you will, for humans, for all humans, not just for Catholics, for, for everybody, about, about creation, about the earth. In particular, what are we as human beings, uh, anthropoids, and, uh, uh, anthros, um, doing to, to the earth, to creation, focusing particularly on pollution and, and global warming. And, and this particular Pope Francis writes sometimes in a very direct, earthy way. You might talk to people, you know, just sitting, having a beer somewhere. Um, he talks about we're trashing the earth. In a lot of places, you go look, various cities, places like that, you see trash. We, we have a, we've developed a culture, which he says, thanks to um, capitalism and technology and growth, a culture where we make things to throw them away. In this context, I remember reading that in the fast uh, fashion industry, some of these companies, Uniqlo and, and um, uh, we have Old Navy here, where they can turn around if, if women or teenage boys suddenly like a different color or a different style within a, within a month or two. They can get tens of thousands of all different sizes of the new color and the new style, and then they have to throw out all the other stuff, which has already been made. And the amount, the amount of, of unbought clothing, apparently, every year is in the billions of pieces. So why are we doing this? What are we going to do with all this old stuff? Can we, can we recycle it? And then you start thinking about, and the Pope worries about this, how much water, et cetera, et cetera, uh, was needed to grow the cotton, or how much hydrocarbons we had to, to use to get the, the synthetic fibers. The Pope also has this concept as a, a, a different from um, an anthropocentric view we have that the earth and everything in it belongs to us. Uh, the Pope also has this notion of an integral ecology, that the ecology around us is integrated. It's not just the environment, it's also people. And in the, in the, the words of, of Jesus in the New Testament, it, and in the Old Testament in a way, neighbor. Cain, as you may remember in the Old Testament, says to God, and, you know, he's, he's my brother. Am I my brother's keeper? Come on, give me a break. And Jesus talks about love thy neighbor as, 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 you, as you would love yourself, as you care for yourself. So the Pope is putting in this, in Citadel of four years ago, the question of caring. Caring for the earth and caring for the people on the earth. Integrating them together into one ecological system which is both uh, human and, and animal and natural. The thing that struck me was that after four years, his encyclical is not only still relevant, it seems to be more relevant, perhaps, than, than it was when it was issued. And since then, we've had the United Nations uh, 17 development goals, sustainable development goals, and the 17 sustainable development goals and the Pope's moral teachings about um, integral ecology, they both intertwine, they both fit together. So on the one hand, we have a roadmap, we have a compass, we, we have justification for taking better care of each other 
end of our planet, but uh, what are we doing?